We'll call this meeting to order at 1 o'clock, uh, Thursday, June 13, 2024. We're here for discussion on the Moon Pass rock slide costs and con to consider crusher quotes. Ms. Stutsky, I turn it over to you to fill us in. Okay, well, I will start with um, kind of a catch-up where we're at on the impasse, and then we'll go into the quotes um, for the crusher. So we've been working nonstop since we got the green light to clear Moon Pass. Uh, the slide is actually cleared through now. All of the rock is uh, in a staging area, which is contained to our right-of-way in the near vicinity of the slide on the Wallace side. Um, Anticipation for schedule, um, depending on what you guys decide today, we would like to have the crusher up there to start crushing on Monday. Um, the crusher anticipates 10 working days, which would be two weeks uh, of crushing. While they're crushing, our department will have all hands on deck with hauling the material, spraying the material, utilizing the material on the uh, Avery side of Moon Pass to eliminate the excessive hauling and, and costs that come with that. So we anticipate when the crushing is done, we should be relatively done because we're going to be working in tandem with the crusher so they don't get um, bogged down with the material. And so our hope is to have it open by that first week in July for traffic. So um, better than we thought. And just to kind of run you through funding of this project to date, Initially, um, LTAC awarded us $100,000 for an emergency LRIP. We have been holding on to that check because we've had some other irons in the fire. Um, we may have to return that to LTAC if we get additional funding. So that's we're working through that. I should know something very soon. Um, it went down to Boise, where the governor declared an emergency on the state level. And then it was forwarded to uh, the president's office. And uh, President Biden did declare a major disaster declaration uh, just earlier this week, just a few days ago, um, which is great because that opens us up for reimbursement costs through FEMA. Uh, FEMA reimburses on a 75% basis of actual costs. The state then reimburses 15% of that leaving the county with a cost share of 10%. So worst case scenario, we have 10% to cover, um, which we can easily absorb with our labor and equipment already you know, put into the project to date. Um, so we're to the point where we need to get a crusher up there. And reminding you that one of the last meetings we had, um, we had talked about, um, because we are in the state of an emergency, not having to go through the formal bid process for large amount projects. And so I did um, utilize that exemption when we were looking at the crusher. We did ask uh, two crushing companies to come up to the site and do a site visit where we could kind of talk about logistics of things, what would work, what wouldn't work, uh, how much material was there, and what would their availability be. Both, um, both Contractors came up and said they could come up as soon as they got the green light. So um, that got that roadblock out of the way. Uh, we had two verbal quotes on site, but I, don't, I can't do anything with a verbal quote. Mm -hmm. So I said I need a written quote in my hands. Um, only one company has responded with the written quote. Uh, the other companies, and they were the low quote anyways, uh, the other company was quite a bit higher. So the quote that I'm asking you to consider today is uh, from Danielson Rock. They're located out of St. Mary's. They have a mobile crushing unit, um, and they're ready to mobilize. As soon as I call them for um, the crusher to be set up to start first thing Monday morning. And so approximately 10,000 yards of rock is what we're going to be looking at crushing up there on site. Um, and then there's a small uh, mob fee on there, which mob is pretty significant for that in that area, no matter where they're going to come from. And so their quote for that um, is $120,000. Uh, the other verbal quote that we had, they figured it would be 10 days, $15,000 per day, plus a $10,000 mob fee. So their quote was quite a little bit higher, verbal quote. And I, again, I never got anything written from them. Um, we tried to track them down. 
Um, we even sent somebody to their business location to try to track them down just to make sure that they had an opportunity to submit um, an estimate. And so this is the quote that I'm presenting to you, asking you to approve um, so we can get them up there to crush. Um, just so you know where we're looking at, it costs roughly to date. Um, with the with the equipment rental, the um, the geologist up there for daily reports, and we back them off a little bit, and they'll do a final approval that they feel that the slope is stabilized enough for traffic to come through. And I believe they were up there. They're up there today. Um, we are anticipating by the end of this. Well, and then if you were to add the hundred twenty thousand dollars with this crushing. We would be at $185,000. Um, there are a few small miscellaneous invoices for different parts and pieces to keep equipment running that we would include in the, co the project costs for reimbursement through FEMA um, that are minimal amounts. And then I am anticipating what we have to date as far as labor and equipment use versus what we're anticipating ramping up our operations for the next two weeks that we're going to be looking at about $140,000 in our labor and equipment that we've contributed. Um, this does not include fuel for the two rented machines. Um, I haven't got the fuel logs from the shop yet. Usually those come in once a month. So um, we're roughly looking, and then there's going to be an additional because we're going to go over our month on the rental, and we did it by the month. So I'm anticipating an additional $20,000 for rental costs for the two um, excavators that we had up there for rental. And so that's going to put us just under $350,000 total cost for this project, um, which getting back for reimbursement 90%, I think we're going to come out of this a lot better. Thankfully, that, that was declared on mm -hmm. the national level as an yeah. emergency, um, or we might be having a different conversation today regarding the crushing. Maybe we would have look, looked at crushing half and you know, hauling some, but then our department would still be absorbing those labor and equipment costs. So um, I think all in all, things are coming together nicely on that. Our crews have worked very hard. I did want to note, just full disclosure to you, that um, we have worked overtime the last couple of Fridays just to try to get ready for the crusher to come so we could get it open sooner. And that Wednesday the 19th is a, is a holiday. It's a paid holiday. It's Juneteenth because the crusher will be up there working and I don't want them to get bogged down with material. I want to keep operations going. Um, I did authorize our department to go ahead and work through that holiday, um, especially now that we have the declaration that this will be, you know, those hours mm -hmm. will be reimbursed out that way. Okay. All right. So we've got 350 into the project. We get 90% of that back <clears throat> and the rest is absorbed by our our labor and equipment. Labor and equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we should not be out any cash for this project. No. <clears throat> Just a, a lot of labor and equipment. A lot of labor and equipment. Okay. So it's not exactly profitable to have landslides in your. Correct. Camp. And we still have this is this is movable because we still have one more iron in the fire with federal highways because we got the state declaration. Um, Federal Highways is looking at this for possible cleanup and mitigation reimbursement. If we get the yes for that, which, you know, there, we're going to get a yes or no relatively soon, um, then we will not go via reimbursement through FEMA. You have to go Federal Highways or FEMA reimbursement. We would go Federal Highways reimbursement because their reimbursement comes back faster um, and it allows for some possible mitigation to be worked into the project. If that comes, I would come to the board, we would talk about that. That would be something that we would not be contributing our labor and equipment on. That would be something that is contracted out. We've spent so much time up there this year that we are really getting jammed up for the rest of our season for projects and some of our regular maintenance. Um, you know, we were in a good shape when we started, but this is a significant chunk of time to take uh, people from virtually all of our districts down there. Um, the reimbursement, is that the same, whether you go with the highway or the... Um, I put an email out to see if the percentages were the same, and I don't know, and that might be part of our decision-making uh, process when we get there. Yeah. Definitely need mm -hmm. to consider that. Yes. 
Okay. Um, okay, so right now you're seeking approval of the one and only bid that we did finally mm -hmm. acquire in writing, which turns out to be the lowest one we knew about so far. Correct. And you thought that the $10,000 MOBE fee was, I think you used the word small fee. I, no, I mean, it's not small in the grand scheme of things, but, you know, when you, if you look at the cost of MOBE on this, it's, you know, it's a significant trek for them. They cannot come up through, they have to come all the way around through Wallace because of uh, load restrictions on some of the bridges down there and um, on the Avery side of Moon Pass. And so all the MOBE has to come up through the Wallace area. It's, it's quite the operation to get their equipment up there. And MOB fees um, were quoted. And just as a, a side note, contractors were there at separate times. We didn't have them there together. Um, and so these were independent MOB numbers from each of them um, having no knowledge. And, and both MOB, MOBs were brought to $10,000. We're in the wrong line of work. We should mm -hmm. be doing MOB. I thought the same thing. <laughs> Mr. Beaner, let me ask you, don't you have some experience in that? Is $10,000 a pretty standard mobe fee for? Quite a bit from St. Mary's, but it is not going to pass, Bill. And they got to go all the way up that mountain mm -hmm. with this rather large equipment? Yes, and this is mobe in and mobe out, so there won't be two mobe charges. This is, this is covers, both, covers both ways. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um... Anything further? I don't think so. I think I've I've hit on anything. Do you, um, as the board, have any questions about project or costs or operations, anything like that? We think we'll have enough gravel out of this to repair the road. Yes. Yes. Um, we're, we're kind of, you know, taking lemons and making lemonade mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. 10,000 yards of lemonade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, then at this time, I'd entertain a motion. Okay. I'll move to approve the bid from Danielson Properties for the crushing of equipment and mobile fees. For the crushing? 120,000. 120 total, yeah. Okay, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Let me open it up to uh, public comment. So you're making this all into three-quarter inch minus? Um, we asked for, we actually asked for half inch uh, because the bigger the rock, the more snow fall off the road. That's been our experience down there, but yes. You're not picking out riprap out of this? We, we have picked out some riprap and this quantity is what's left after we pick the riprap out. Uh, we're feeding the blend or they're bringing a guy up to feed it? They're bringing a guy up to feed it. And the last question I got mm -hmm. for you, this is all going on the rail bed. Yes. What the, maybe you don't know, what's the weight limit on Loop Creek Bridge? Um, off the top of my head, I don't know. I would have to look. Okay. I would imagine it's a lot, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I, it's it's restricted, um, but I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Okay. That's it. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, anything further from you, Commissioner? No. Okay. Anything final or further from you? Uh, I just wanted to really stress that i um, very proud of our road department workers. They have really come together and worked hard to get this pass open for the community. Um, that's been kind of their driving force is they, they want to get it open as quickly as possible for travel. And they've worked very hard. They're going to work some really long hours in the next few weeks to get it open. Um, and the operation has been very safety oriented. Um, very pleased with, with how things have turned out. Okay. And again, for the public, your target is July? Our target is the 1st of July. 1st of July. If all goes well, if we have any delays with the crusher or breakdowns, you know, that might push it back. But um, barring a, another slide happening before we're done, we should be really close to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All <laughs> right. Yes. All right. Well, then with that, we are adjourned and